I said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. Milwaukee Bucks trade rumors and news live edition. Before we get into it, you know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying content with the people. Y'all know what we're here to talk about. What's going on in weak Boston between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics? We handed this game to them on the platter, and we came back like some bosses in this fourth quarter. Boston, y'all should be shook. Y'all should be shook. Everything that went y'all way in this game, and y'all still barely winning. Shout out to the Bucks for not quitting and grinding. With all the turnovers, all the bad defense, we right there, y'all. This team ain't got no quit in them. Shout out to what they're doing in the fourth quarter, outscoring them 21-9 to right now. Shout out to the Bucs for not quitting. A lot of y'all quit on the Bucs in the first quarter. I saw the comments. I told y'all, this is a four-quarter basketball game. You don't quit in the first quarter. Adversity makes you stronger. Let's go, Bucks. Middleton with 20 points already today. Uh, Dame with 24. The problem is when you let tap water people like Pritchard get 19, that's a problem. Derek White, 23 points, that's a problem. Shooting 50% from three, that's a problem. That's why we're in the position we are. And the turnovers, 14 turnovers, the, the, the rebounding, Everything that could go wrong has kind of gone wrong in this game. But instead of us quitting and, and fall and folding, we right there. Let's get them out of there. Y'all, we need to power this team to this win. Do y'all believe? Let me see the chat. Do y'all believe? I'm hyped and charged. Do y'all believe? Huh? Do you believe? A lot of y'all was quitting on this team in the first quarter. Let's get it. Let's get it, Bucks. Huh? Shout out to Bucks Nation. I'm sorry I came on here charged. I should have, you know, calmed down a little bit, but that's all right. I'm, I'm talking to friends and family so I can be animated. What's going on, y'all? Let me start shouting the people out in here. Let me. I see all y'all in here. Salute, salute. See a lot of the queens of the chat in here. What up, what up? Let's see who all up in here. I see a few haters in here, too. Salute to y'all. Eliza, what up? TJ, hater, what up? Simeon, what up? Veggie, what up? Patricia P, what up? Brandon King Carter, what up? Othello, Chris B, Mr. Priceless. I see y'all, Othello, I see you. Gibson, what up? Mr. Cool, the legend, what up? Jensoft, what up? Tommy Jackson, I seen you, what up, bro? John Jackson, what up? Oliver Story, what up? Brenda, what up? What up, Brenda? What up? Pass, what up, Humilidon? Shout out to Puerto Rico, Gibson Nicholas. Shout out to the Bahamas, Kenny Mack. What up, what up, John Jackson? What up, Pronte? What it do, Stacy? What up, Sergio? What up, Abadoye? What up, Janet M O C? What up? We fighting, y'all. We fighting. We did. We, hey, we went out on our shield regardless. They know we a problem now. They had the best possible game they can have, and they struggled with us. Struggle. And if we would have had one more person scoring, we would have beat them or not turn the ball over. We would have beat these cats. I'm telling y'all, man, hey, the Celtics tap water. I'm not even worried about them now. If we, Hey, if Giannis was playing, we washed them tonight. We wash y'all up. We wash y'all up if we had Giannis. We wash y'all up, and that's a fact. Talk about like we should be scared of this, this team. Y'all ain't nothing. Y'all just chuck threes all game. Y'all think that's going to work in the playoffs? It ain't worked for y'all yet. Y'all ain't won a damn thing yet ever since 2008. Knock it off. I see y'all in the chat messaging me on Instagram, poking your chest out like y'all did something. Knock it off. Jimmy Roller, what it do? Get to some of these comments up in here. It's all right, Bucks. Y'all fighting, though. Y'all going out on y'all shield. I respect it. That's all I ask is for you to fight. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong in this game from the officiating, turnovers, and the blown layups. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The blown layups in this game in ill-advised passes and turnovers was absolutely insane. I don't know as, like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to who all that good stuff, right? I used to be able to dunk a basketball, two hands, revert, all of that fly stuff. It is the greatest feeling in the world to dunk. 
why are you you choosing to do a layup when you have the ability to dunk? I just don't understand it. And then Bobby on the fast break should be banned. Middleton initiating any offense should be banned. Also, it is a tragedy. It is a tragedy, and Bucks Nation apologizes to A.J. Green for him not getting clocked early enough in this game. Doc's rotations are suspect at best at times. Suspect at best. I just don't know what he's thinking sometimes when he's rotating. Why is Gallinari playing 19 minutes? Gallo, 20 minutes? Do you not understand why you got fired, Doc, for being stupid? Be smart, sir. There's no reason for Gallinari to be playing 20 minutes. There's no reason for it. Absolutely ridiculous, some of these rotations. I just don't get it. I really just don't get it. I mean, we got to be real. Yes, we made some mistakes, but coaching didn't help us this game. Doc let us down this game. He made no adjustments to the three-point shooting. You did nothing to try to get Pritchard off the three-point line. Pritchard was a he was the he was the flame starter for all of this. It was Pritchard. And and Doc made no adjustments. And then uh Pat Connaughton's defense was terrible today. And what do I be telling y'all? When you on defense, mind your business. Why are you help rotating? Why are you falling back into the paint when all they do is shoot threes? You should be guarding the three-point line. What are y'all thinking sometimes on defense? Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And the Bucks won't quit. 112-116. Boston, how good are y'all really? How good are y'all really? Man, Boston ain't nothing. Boston tap water. They fools go. We got y'all, bro. I can't wait till we play y'all in the playoffs. Man, we're going to send y'all. We packing y'all up backwoods. I guarantee from what I saw today, they had the best possible game they could have and still are bare, clinging to a two-point lead. Clinging to a two-point lead. Y'all Boston fans better knock it off. Y'all humble now. I don't see all the slick talking in the, in the chat now. I see my Instagram. It ain't blowing up no more. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. Y'all see it's real. All... Man, this man, the Bucks got heart. We could have easily quit in this game. Easily quit. And they, man, hey, the Bucks got heart. <laughs> we win in this championship. I've seen all I needed to see. We win in this championship this year. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And uh, I saw a lot of Dame slander early. And I told y'all, relax, didn't I? Y'all's ready. I feel like some of y'all want Dame to do bad. Y'all like bombing on Dame. Yeah, I feel some of y'all really like bombing on Dane. But then when he start cooking, I don't hear nothing. That's really weird. That's really, really weird. I don't know what Dame did to offend some of y'all, but when he's hooping, I don't hear nothing. But when he ain't hooping, y'all be at it right away. He trash. He wash. He don't show up against good teams. He don't do this. What is he doing? He got 29 points. 10 of 19 from the field. 5 of 9 from 3. What else? What else? We got to start giving Dame his props and be behind Dame. We need Dame to play good to win a championship. Dame ain't no Batman. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dame is going out on his shield. Are you kidding me? And don't let Dame get no last second shot because we're going to send y'all home. That I assure you. Let us, man, listen, man. Bucks is about to win a championship. I saw all I needed to see today. Let's get to some of y'all comments. Shout out to the best Bucks chat on YouTube, period. This is your number one Bucks podcast on YouTube. No debating. No debating. Let's chop it up with the good people. Let me see what y'all talking about up in here. Salute. If you haven't already, when y'all come in here, hit the like button. And if you're a first timer, we go live after every Bucks game. We chop it up here. And if you want, you can tap in. I'm going to read your comments. This is fully engaged with uh, Bucks Nation here. And if you on this chat, you part of friends and family, even the haters. Even the haters. Mr. Priceless, yes. The overhelping is ridiculous. The overhelping is ridiculous. Absolutely. Great comment, Chris B. This series will be hot versus cold. Correct. But the thing is, we can go cold from three and still win. Boston can't go cold from three and win. That's the difference because they don't have any inside threat. They don't have a Giannis, and that's why we'll beat them. We'll beat them 4-2 or 
They won't win more than two games. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Othello, I'm telling you, I like our odds against this team. Same, bro. They not no world beaters. They not no world beaters. Get them up out of here. They not no world beaters. They they regular. They regular. I'm telling y'all, it's the three-pointers. Shout out to Gibson. What up, Gibson? TJ asking you kindly to call on the line. <laughs> you know TJ calling on the line. The only person I would say that's a Boston fan to come in here poking their chest out that would do that is no strays E and T. TJ ain't built like that. TJ ain't built like that. Jan Soft was good. I don't see Boston uh, beating the Bucks in the playoffs. Absolutely not. That's a no. Boston know that now. They know that now. They can't beat us in the playoff. They saw enough. They saw enough today. We played terrible, terrible, and are within four points. And we played terrible. Mr. Cool said, uh, Pronte, Dame has to attack quicker to get set. I agree with that. He waits a little too long, Mr. Cool. That is a good, good point. He needs to catch and go. Get the ball. He allows the defense to set sometimes and get the double on him. I agree. He needs to uh, uh, make a quicker decision to attack. Absolutely. Shout out to Mr. Cool. Simeon said, I'm fine. Giannis not playing, and we've been hanging around the entire. That's what I'm saying, bro. Without Giannis, we on your helmet. Y'all shouldn't even be happy with this. Y'all shouldn't even be happy about this. Oliver Story said, "Is Bucks if they play uh, in the paint without Giannis, they play like uh, Ben Simmons." <laughs> Valid. Brenda said, "It's zero zero when the playoff stops." Yes, ma'am. Shout out to Brenda. Shout out to the queens in the chat. Mm hmm. Mr. Cool said we can definitely beat them, but we can't make so many mistakes. Absolutely. We will beat them. It's not can, we will. And they ain't nobody. These dudes ain't nobody. They got lucky. They, they, Y'all act like they bombed on us or something, man. These fools got lucky. I'm just happy we did this with Giannis resting. This should really show how talented this Bucks team is to be able to hang around with the big, bad Boston Celtics. The big, bad Boston Celtics. What? If it wasn't for some of this poor officiating and turnovers, we win this game without Giannis. That's a great comment, uh, Pass. Pass said, Dane, Bobby isn't Giannis. He can't hold the ball in a transition. Like, yeah, Bobby should not be handling the ball on, on no type of fast break. And Bobby layup package is terrible. Bobby layup package is terrible. The Bucks in general layup package is kind of is kind of basura. It is definitely basura. I'ma tap you in in a minute, Bleach Report boss. Let me let everybody get, let me uh, get some of these comments in, and then I'ma put the link in the chat. Shout out to uh, Bleach Report boss. I see you. I think Boston just realized we Kakarot and they Vegeta. I think they just realized we are Kakarot. Y'all Vegeta. We the we the truth, not y'all. And we gonna take we gonna put y'all out. We gonna put Boston out. I'm gonna put money. I, I don't even gamble like that. But I'm about to put some money when that series happen. I'm a I, man. I might put a stack on the bucks. I believe for real. I believe. Uh, Humility said Boston can't do nothing. Boston got a lot of of uh, arsenal. Yeah, they do, but they gotta be on. We were off, and we was right there. Pass said 35 to 25 threes. They only play one way. 17 threes to 12, yet only down. Thank you. They're all they do is chuck threes. They're not good. They're not poised. Get out of here. I was mad about this, John Jackson. Us putting in AJ late. I was mad about that. He should have been playing a long time ago. And hey, y'all, we gotta address Brooke Lopez in the offseason. It is for what he's getting paid and not to be able to play against certain teams is a travesty. We have to address in the off season, Brooke Lopez. We have to address it. We, we have to Stacy. It that's coaching right there. Stacy shout out to Stacy. One of the Queens of the chat. What up? What up? Why do they keep over helping? They stupid, stupid. That's it. Simple, stupid. And then the coach ain't correcting them. So he's stupid. 
What up, Sergio? Like I said, if we can't guard the three, we done. No, we have to guard the three, but that's up to the coach to scheme that, and he didn't. They were Pronte, shout out to you, bro. They were uncontested threes. They got wide open looks. You're gonna shoot 50%. They're in the NBA. You give them wide open looks, they gonna hit. Period. Shout out. AJ said we miss Giannis Lopez is unplayable. I told y'all I didn't want Lopez coming back in the offseason. I'm going to continue to say that because y'all was arguing with me left and right. I told y'all we need to get rid of dude. For real, for real. Hey, tap back in, Daniel. I don't know what happened to you if you dropped or something, but you can tap back in, bro. There you go. Let me tap you in. I know you, I know you charged. Let me just show the final score, and I'm going to tap you in. Hey, this ain't a bad loss to me. Hey, let's just, hey, this ain't, they, we lost by three points. Dame had 32. Middleton had 22. Portis came in with 24. We fought, y'all. We fought 17 to 35 from three, 53%. I mean, but damn, the free throws too, man. The refs, man, some of these refs, man, I hope, man, I hope these refs get COVID for real, for real. I hope these refs get COVID. You should be ashamed. 29 free throw attempts to 14 is crazy. That's a difference too, y'all. That's a difference. But this 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 tap water player here, 19 points was a huge difference in this game. Huge difference. And letting them shoot, I mean, damn, man, 45% from the three, 47% from the we held them in the fourth quarter. We locked them down. And then the the free throws. I mean, they was calling Tiki. Man, like I said, I hope the whole coaching staff, uh the whole uh officiating staff get COVID. Y'all some cowards and some suckers. Every one of y'all cowards and suckers. Wish I knew y'all wise. I'll start trying to talk to them. Uh, let me tap you in here. Uh, Bleach Report, boss. Give me one second, bro. These fools, the turnovers, all this, all this foolishness. Chop it up. Shout out to the Bleacher Report, boss. Go ahead, bro. What's up, Bucks Nation? Yeah, Man. yeah. Oh man, it was it was they 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 kept it in there. They was hanging in there. I was appreciating that he did that. You know, just so many mistakes, and and to be and to make it worse, you know what's really funny? Jason Tatum didn't make a shot till the end of the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. I, four minutes left, and I'm looking around. I'm like, that's your that that's your guy, right? He scored until the fourth quarter, right? All and then you want to, and then all these Boston fans want to talk trash. You should be embarrassed right now. You barely right. beat us. Look, look what Janet said. People, Janet said. Look what Janet said. Shout out to Janet MOC. Wow, all this without Giannis, I'm impressed. Win or lose, our guys are legit. Yeah, they legit, but they got this right here. They got heart. They could have quit. They, man, this team got heart. Boston, y'all about to get put out by the Bucks in the playoff. I guarantee it. I'm booking it right now. We are putting y'all out. Y'all are suckers, and the refs are suckers for letting y'all get all them free throws. You take away half them free throws, we win by 10. Y'all ain't nothing. That What did I tell y'all? I said, the reason these Boston fans stay in this chat is because they know the truth. And the truth is, we're the better team, and they know it. We just showed you. We almost cooked y'all without our best player. And he would have been the best player on the court. Let's not be mistaken. If Giannis is on his court today, he is the best player, period, on the court. And listen, that's, I told you, they shook like dice. They shook like dice. Boston don't really want to play us like that. They don't want, they don't want this like that. But we're going to show them what happened when you poke the bear. We're going to show y'all. Y'all poking hey. the bear. Now y'all see what it is. Y'all done woke up Dame. Dame dropped 30 on y'all head. Oh, what is that? Dame led, led both teams in scoring, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I thought Dame don't play well against good teams. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I, 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 I don't get I'm I'm mad. I'm mean, because it seems to me that everybody not seeing what, like, you changed coaches. We Last time we played, you blew off the court. Did you blow us off the court? No, you did not. You didn't do that. That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. That's what T wanted. He wanted us to get blown out the court, and that didn't happen tonight. We went in there. We took your blows, all your threes. That's all you got. That's all you got. It's the threes. 
uh, one, one, uh, one second, Daniel. I do want to say this. Middleton did kind of disappear in the second half. AJ's right. Yeah. Middleton did disappear in the second half. That's fair. Go ahead, bro. I, that's a fair statement. They pretty much doubled him at that point. They 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 was trying to get the ball out of his hands, and they tried to do dang. But, I mean, to me, if that's all Boston got, and don't, and don't you come here and talk about what Drew wasn't playing, I don't want to hear about Drew all day. Drew he's, wasn't going to make no difference. They act like no, Drew I, putting up some type of world beater numbers. He putting know, up Pat Bev numbers this year. If they don't knock it off, hey, man, it's about 100 of y'all in here. Can we please hit the like button? We grind like, it here. This is Bucks Nation. Please hit the like button. We should be at at least 60 likes. We had 30. Come on, y'all. Show some support and some love for the free 99. Come on. It's the free 99. Y'all still got your 401k. You still got your Social Security. You still got your paycheck. <laughs> this is not coming out of any of that. Hit the like button. C carry on, sir. Yeah, it just this team. It's growing in my eyes, and like I said, they made mistake. If they didn't make the mistakes they made, or made you know bad shots here and there, we've been talking. I mean, if Porter didn't shoot crazy shot at one last draw, that last one before it went crazy, we've been tied right now, dude. But but Bobby, that's the yeah, thing, though. What you got to deal with, Bobby. The Bobby's a good and bad. The low basketball yeah. IQ can hurt you sometimes with Bobby. The low basketball IQ can hurt you. Yeah, but. I'm just laughing because we <laughs> those Boston fans got a little nervous. I'm like, I, I, I'm looking at them like, I, I told you we are gonna be in there. Like the uh, referees. Hold on, I just gotta address two things here. Let me just one second here. Let me just get right, past super chat. Then I gotta bomb on somebody real quick. Hold on, uh, pass. Appreciate the 4.99 super chat. If GA elbowed a player in the face, it would have been an offensive foul. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I knew the referee on our side when he got elbowed in the face like that. They didn't call it. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah, that, that's come definitely on. true. Hold on one sec. Hey, there he is. Does this man even need an introduction? Does this man actually need an introduction? Huh? I, I don't know. I might, I, might, I might lose a lot of fans tonight, boy. I'm, I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm going to give you the balanced point of view. But I might lose a lot of people. I might lose a lot of people. I'm just gonna be, uh, I, but you know, I gotta be. I gotta be genuine. All right, you, hey, you got something in the background, Gibson. Uh, we we got the legend on the line over here, so let, let's let that man cook. Go ahead. No, no, no. We get flowers here, sir. You know how it go. Come on, man. Go ahead. You know what it is. Go ahead. <laughs> I appreciate it. Gibson, what's happening? All right, let's get let's get that, that analysis. That was good. Peace and love. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, hold on one second, Gibson. I know you charged. Let's let, let's let hey, let's let a real doc talk to him. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you, you gotta take it. Just just take it. Just take it. If you got arm on doc, I'm gonna say like this, man. I'm gonna say it like this. There's a lot to be happy about, right? I am very proud of the way that we fought back in the very end, right? However, I don't think that we are doing ourselves justice by not looking at some of the things that we didn't see on the court. Me personally, I don't believe in uh, moral victories. You could have won with the team that you had out on the court. You showed that, that you could have won with the team that you had out on the court, right? Um, it's a mentality thing. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Late in the game, Brooke Lopez sets a screen on Jalen Brown, a crushing screen. It's one of the first times I've actually seen Brooke Lopez get physical with someone. And it was legal. Don't you know this man was sitting there like, oh, are you okay? You okay? Like holding his hands up to Jalen Brown. If you don't get your librarian self down to the other end oh, yeah, yeah, ready yeah. to play basketball, Jalen Brown can get up on his own. I'm not saying be dirty. I'm saying go out and be physical. There's a fight. There's, all games are not created equal. Some games you got to get up for a fight. This was supposed to be the Ravens against the 49ers. It ended up being that way. Guess who mm -hmm. did not play in the fourth quarter, though? I'll give you a hint. He's the biggest dude on the court who found a way to get out for for a rebound by the smallest guy <laughs> on the court in Peyton Pritchard. That happened. And then Peyton, <laughs> Peyton Pritchard sat there and gave him like one of these, like, get off me move. And Brooke Lopez just sat there and took it. Ask yourself, Brooke, why do people think 
identify that they can do it to you. That's a, a problem. That's problematic because it's the same thing all the time with some of the guys, man. We are going into a dogfight with a team full of dog fighters. That's a spectacular team over there in Boston. And guess what? Skill-wise, they can't do anything that we can't do. But you know what they do? They fight for every rebound. They're mm -hmm. the first ones down on the ground to get the loose balls. We're sitting there getting out for it. There, there are too many times I'm looking at Brooke asking him to be a man amongst men. And too many times he's sitting there looking like a librarian that's ready to go work for Disney, man. And it's, <laughs> it's bothersome. It bothers me. It bothers me, man. <laughs> like too much. It, the, the Giannis can't be the only guy on this team of, of high caliber skill who's ready to fight, man. So thank yeah. you, Bobby Portis, for actually coming in and showing me what a big man is supposed to look like in this game. The other day, I had suggested that we need to start going with Giannis at the five, Bobby mm -hmm. Portis with the four. And I was told that that should be the lineup that we close with. It should also be the lineup that we start with. People need to start restructuring some of these contracts that if you are not providing a certain level of play, a certain caliber of play, you're going to start getting docked minutes and you're going to start getting Thank docked you. pay. Basically, if you can't stop people from taking food off your plate, then you don't get to eat. It's as simple as that. Right. And until you decide to stand up and play like the Milwaukee Bucks that I know we can be, you don't get to come out on the court because it's going to look like this in the playoffs. Facts. It's not just the Celtics, but against the Heat. You got to get ready for a fight. Now, here's the good news. We did come ready for a fight mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. Right. Doc Rivers calls a timeout, and he says that you are letting them own your space. That's a pride thing. And... Hey, you you freezing a little bit. Uh, Why do you have to light a match under somebody's behind to get you to do what you should have did from the beginning? Right. Hey, you freezing a little bit, uh, uh Mr. Smith. Game. Hey, you freezing a little bit. Basketball that inspires me. No, I feel you. Hold on one second, uh, Mr. Smith. Hold on one second. Let me get these super chats. No strays, ENT. Appreciate the four ninety nine super chat. Bucks have Peyton Pritchard looking like Kobe. Relax. Relax, relax, Daniel Carter. Appreciate the one ninety nine super chat. Brooke Lopez, no, get on I my nerves, dog. Me that, Slow and that, lazy. That's fair. That's fair. Can you still hear us, so, Mr. I'm Smith? Sorry, you, 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 you pixelating a little but, bit. What I was... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You good now? You good? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You good? You good? Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, I didn't mean to cut yeah. you off, bro. But I'm seeing someone like Eliza, who whose commentary I always enjoy, telling me that that's not Brooke's job. That's Giannis's job. Brooke is the center. That's the both of them's job. And it's Brooke's job first and foremost, because it's not like Brooke is doing a whole lot of scoring to justify his presence on the court otherwise. That's what you're there for. The, the, the paint is the closest thing to the trenches that basketball has. That's the closest link to offensive, defensive line play that basketball has. Mm. Peyton Pritchard is not an offensive or a defensive lineman for the Celtics and out fought Brooke Lopez for rebounds. Are you ever seeing a free safety go and push an offensive lineman back? Facts. Just run over him and get to the quarterback? You never see that. If Brooke Lopez is not a rebounder, then what is he doing on the team? Just Are you there just to set screens for Damian Lillard? Good because point. If that's the case. You get paid entirely too much money to be a professional <coughs> screen setter. No, that's Thank fair. You for setting screens, but you got to do a little bit more than that, bro. No, I agree. Now, I agree. The rest of the team absolutely started fighting in the fourth quarter. And I'm Fact. proud of that. And I'm proud that they didn't just slump their shoulders and stop fighting. I'm I'm proud that's that what, they that was that was what made it uh that's what made it impressive in the face early in the year but they were getting blown off the court i agree we showed a lot of heart today in my opinion we showed like, a lot it, of heart they, they fought back they made it a game and i also it like did. to state yeah, a lot of and, people and going in that. on dame in that first quarter that. And, and dame and, and is the reason we got back that. in this game go ahead mr smith yeah he, he's, he's definitely one of them bobby portis is another one i mean like we, we just started playing with some intent, um, but 
it can't just moving forward constructively it has got to be about pride you can't just be a team that does that when someone checks you no one has to check you man right no one should have to check you at this point in the season at this point in your careers you are a professional basketball player shouldn't nobody have to point at you and say they're owning your space right i i, I hope i really do hope that these guys remember this the next time they play no one has to check you to do this I am happy that when they did check you, you did it, but you had to be checked. That's problematic. Stand up and be accounted for and play basketball, man. Because they did. They're the ops, and I have all the respect in the world that they started fighting in the beginning. Now, the Celtics need to be worried about how they finish games. Because that's the second time in a row that we played them in Boston, and they went from destroying us to escaping us. Escaping. Time, Thank they you. did it. With when we didn't have our best play, mm -hmm. that's problematic. I don't know if you remember that game, Prince of Persia, back in the day or whatever, with that that monster that used to chase you from right. the TV all the time. Didn't matter what room you were in, he was always going to find you. That's who we became in the fourth quarter. You're supposed to be the biggest, baddest, toughest team in the NBA. Number one on offense, number two on defense, and you right. escaped us with our best player not even in Boston mm. with me screaming at some of our players for not showing up. So it wasn't even that we were missing Gunner. We didn't have Brooke. We didn't have a center <laughs> right. to play the game to fight you with, and you still barely won that game. No, that's true. I had to pull people aside and oh, actually man. check them like men to get them play the basketball, which means we were down even more than that, and you still barely won that game. No, I'm that's a fact. Up, that's a fact. We should have won that basketball game. No, I agree. I agree. But I'm going to let y'all all get y'all points in because there's quite a few yeah. people in the green room, so I want to cycle cycle everybody out. So I'm going to let Gibson give your take, oh, and, yeah, then, yeah. Uh, and then you, Daniel, yeah. and then no. uh, I'm going to cycle the, the new people in, and then y'all can spin the block. I just want to make sure I get everybody to get their time. Uh, go ahead, Gibson. All right, for sure. Peace and love, peace and love to both nation. Dr. Smith, I with you on that. Brandy, uh, Daniel, Amber, salute to you guys. Now, Dr. Smith, let me uh, let me take a page out of your playbook and add to my recipe, but I start in my part. Lopez need to be held accountable. There's no way you supposed to be having a little guard like Richard making you look bad. I didn't like that at all. I was not pleased with that at all. I was pissed as a mug. And number two, Portis need to dunk the ball. Dunk the ball. Do not be afraid to dunk the ball. Please, dunk the ball. Stop being afraid to dunk the ball. Dunk the ball. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm, number I'm, three, I'm, that's what pisses I'm, me I'm off. A... That's what pisses me off. Dunking the ball is one of the best right. feelings in the world. It's one of the best feelings in the world to dunk a basketball during the game Man, and to sit there and be six seven doing layups is crazy. I'm six foot, and anytime I got a chance to come to the hole, I'm trying to I'm trying to smash on somebody. Every time, I don't understand this layup thing, the layups, and then the the, the ill advised turnovers today. Man, we gave this game away. They didn't beat us. We gave this game away more than they beat us. Go ahead, Gibson. And. And I'm number two. You see, I put it in the chat. I send that that TJ a message. I say, be a man, call in the live, and come and let's reason together. Don't be hide, join no cheap shots at the back. Be a man, come on the live. I say the link is in the chat. Come on the live. Stop he's not being doing a man, that, all sir. that talking you doing. Yeah, no, he's not doing that. He's not doing all that. that. I, don't, I don't. I don't expect him to. All like I said, the only person talking, that, that, that got talking is doing. Uh, no strays. That's a uh, that's a Boston fan. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey, hey Amber. Yeah. Hey, Amber, not only that. All that talk, all that talking is saying all this. And, and, Pike, and big perks need to give this Bucks team an apology because they Boston almost lose. They should be ashamed of themselves. Like what you say, if we play them in the playoff with full strength, then, then, then uh, 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 uh. You know what? To keep it to real, this like might that. sound like I'm hating. I don't know Boston to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals to play us. You can't just shoot threes the whole the whole game and think that's how you're gonna win a series, just shooting threes. The only team that's ever done that is the Golden State Warriors in the history of basketball. 
I guarantee they'll flame out early in the playoffs. Guaranteed. Damn, that's a hell of a stat. Let me put this All up right, here. Hold I'm on one up. second. Hold on one second. Let me just get this super chat. What's up? Look what this says. Look what this says. Hold on. And then I'm going to bring the other gentleman in here. Uh, Daniel Carter said, uh, appreciate the 199. Brooke had two rebounds today. Pritchard had six. Do you see what you I'm saying? What does? That's an <laughs> you see what I'm <laughs> Bro, that's oh, embarrassment. Bro, that's Oh, that's embarrassment. All right, that's finish, your, embarrassment. finish your take, Gibson. I'm gonna let uh, Bleach Report boss get his. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Gibson. All right, my problem is uh -oh. mm -hmm. My problem is I think this off season the Milwaukee Bucks need to let Brook Lopez go. We have to let him go. We have to let him go. I cannot take it anymore. I had enough. I had enough. I had enough. I didn't had enough. Go ahead, Daniel. I had enough. I, I fell enough. on the sword this enough. summer about Brooke Lopez. I fell That's right it. on the sword. I fell right on the sword this summer about Lopez. Fell right on it to save Bucks Nation from themselves. Now y'all get it. Now y'all, now y'all gang. Now y'all gang. Go ahead, Gibson. I'm gonna let Daniel go. No. Go ahead, Gibson. Go ahead, Daniel. All go ahead, Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. All yours. I have nothing to this. <laughs> I, all right. My thing is that this game got this close in the second half, and like I, like we said, you know, and like you said, bro, I, this is why I'm so mad because I know Boston's not that good. They're just not. Yeah. And people came in here and some of them Drew played or Sam played. What you gonna know, do? Shoot more threes? It's just like you can't win games every game by shooting, shooting that. And what? And what? I remember Doc said in the in the timeout. He said that. You let them get that space, they're going to get you. I mean, they're taking our space. Get their space and then take them out. And that's what the problem was. It wasn't like, it, it's not rocket science. Take away their space and they won't get anything. They've got no post shooters in there. Don't add present because he's not a post shooter. Right. It's just, I was just so mad how we we do this game and then they came back. And I was I love the fight. I, I was so happy they fought back. But this is why I tell boss fans, like, you you really think you're going to win games every game by hitting threes? You're not going to win games like that. You need an inside, outside, inside, outside. You don't have no inside guy. You're going to – one of these teams going to take them out before we even face them if this is going to be offense. Yeah, no, I agree with you. We, guys didn't play. No, I, mean, I agree with y'all. I agree with y'all. A, a, a statue has a – no, I agree with y'all. But uh, I'm going to cycle I, these gentlemen I, I, I in. Mean, yeah, I, <laughs> so, don't be frustrated. Right, yeah, no we problem. should look at the glass half tap full. Out yeah, we should be half full. Let me tap these people in. But if y'all could spend the block in a few minutes, it'd be appreciated. I got people that never tapped in before, like my man Passamendo. So let me let him tap in. All right, peace uh, out. Hey, peace Doc out. Smith, peace. Gibson. Peace. Bleach Report boss, we oh, always right, appreciate y'all. Right. Let me get out. these new people in, and I'm going to tap y'all right back in. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right, Pass, I'm about to tap you in. Peace sir. out. All right, All right, peace out. Appreciate you. All right, let me tap you in. Pass. There you go. Hold on. Let me just change this up a little. What up, Pass? What's going on, bro? Hey, what's up? What's going on? I, hey, I'm gonna leave. Let you have the floor. Hey, pass. You've been around for a minute. Hey, y'all don't know this, but me and pass chop it up all the time. He's been around for a minute, bro. A minute. You finally done tapped in. In a while, yeah. Bro, salute, salute. I'm always My busy. Every, count. Every single time you gotta do it, I'm never available. I'm always at work. <laughs> so, got off. so, hey, you got the floor. And shout out to you, Brandon. Go ahead, pass. Hey, this pass Amendo from in the chat, y'all. He he online. Man, this is a good day. Go ahead, bro. All right. All right. I got I was gonna be negative. I was gonna talk a lot about Brooke. But we go we go we, everyone already said what I need to say. Okay. I do gotta say this. One thing about Brooke. Are you seven foot or not? Like that's all I gotta ask. Like, are you seven foot or not? I was watching his old videos, like from from our twenty twenty one run. He looked like a different person. Mm. He was moving. He actually, like, he contested on the perimeter. 
I ain't never seen that ever before. He was getting rebounds. He had double digit rebounds multiple games. But that's a couple years ago on the, on the, on his body though. You know what I'm saying? The wear and tear. Even like, yeah, I, I understand. See, years ago, but damn, this man cannot be getting paid this much money. <laughs> that's what I said. For what he's doing now, <laughs> that's what I said. He can't be getting paid this much. Right, but pass on a positive though. We showed a lot of fight tonight. That's we what I'm happy about. Because without Giannis, tonight. without Giannis, we did pretty well. No, I agree. I agree. If I'm would now, would you say pass? If you're Boston, would you be nervous now? Absolutely. You guys, <laughs> let me tell you about something, with Boston. This team is the most fraudulent team I've ever seen in my life. Get a pass. Get a pass. I have never seen a team who has this record, yet no one's scared of you. Who's scared of you? You got, you got, you got owned by Denver twice. You still haven't beaten them. We gave you troubles multiple times. We beat you by 50. The game had to turn off. That's how bad it was. Talk two other the games. Right? Almost, <laughs> like, yeah. The two Give other games. Pass. The other game, the first game before, we were down by three. We would have tied the game. And we had AJ, we had AJ, Andrew and Griffin coaching us. That's who we had coaching. This game, we came back, almost came back and beat you. Without Giannis, you'd be like, oh, but we didn't have Drew. We didn't have Drew. You, but Drew you know what do? made up for Drew? But you know who made up for Drew? The officials. The officials exactly. made up for Drew's points. How about that? Was, even that. You guys, all you guys do is shoot threes and expect it to go in. That's all you do. I had respect for this for, for the Celtics 2022. Because I liked Ime. I liked their coach. Mm-hmm. As soon as they got rid of him, I'm like, yeah, this team ain't winning nothing. They're not winning nothing. We got my man Pronte in the building and Brandon. Pronte, let's go ahead, get your take. You, Brandon, then we're going to spin the block on a couple of questions. Go ahead, Pronte. No, I agree with everything you said, man. Good to see you. Right, right. See <laughs> exactly. Your takes, man. Uh, yeah, Brooke, you, Brooke man. Is watch. I mean, I don't know if Brooke is watched, but Brooke, I feel like last year he's proven why he plays so well. You know, he's just not focused. I, I feel like Brooke played well because he knew he had a contract coming up. So now when he didn't have that contract, when he got that contract, he kind of slacked off in the offseason. You can kind of tell. You right, know, yeah, and it, yeah, I see that. You know, he, he, he did what he it took to secure his back. And that's what he did. Mm-hmm. And then he returned to the Brooke we used to know. You know, so that's just the Brooke we used to know. That's the same Brooke. Brooke that don't want to rebound, scared to rebound the ball. Brooke that helping a guy up after he gave him a screen instead of just saying, hey, look, that's my job and moving on. Like right. that's that's the team you going that's the team you gotta beat. Why are you helping him up and why are you waiting for him to get up? Night, Brandon. That's a waste of time. But the Bucks played good, man. I mean, I think they fought hard. They did the best they could do without Giannis, I feel, mm-hmm. in, in this situation. And that's what you and, but and they but I think they found a lineup against Boston. And that was Correct. just taking just taking Brooke out the game. It was really yeah, that simple. That sounds crazy, though, what you just said, though. You feel what I'm saying, Fronte? And how, you, he's one of our I mean, highest-paid no, players, and you're telling me he's unplayable is crazy, Fronte. He, he's, he's, he, you can play him in like for like 10 minutes in that series a game. But Tell him select you know, you got you to gotta just catch him slipping. And Brooke gotta, but if Brooke want to stay in the game, he got to give you something right. offensively. Unless he can't stay in the game, what are you going to give you? Right. Um, so you know he he you know I feel like that Brooke when they took Brooke out of the game they went small, that's when they made their run. Chris Middleton played a heck of a game. He was super efficient, mm-hmm. really 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 efficient. Um, every time he falls, I think he, he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. So I'm also <laughs> glad that he gets back up. Uh-huh. I mean, but you do every time he falls on the ground, you're like, oh shoot. You know, <laughs> Hold on one second, go. Prate. One second. Let me just get. We got our uh, local Boston fan here. Let's let him. Let's let him get his. Let, let's let him get his shine. No strays. Ent. Now let's man up and not give any excuses tonight, fellas. Peyton Pritchard came to collect that deposit. <laughs> you know what? I respect you. No strays. Ent. Because good or bad, you 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 there. I gotta respect that. I didn't even think I people it. in Boston had any heart but, like that. So respect. But, I got I, one more super chat. That I'm gonna let you. Uh, uh, let me let uh, Pronte yeah, finish the yeah. statement. Hold on one second. All right, All right. Montalondo, appreciate the $5, bro. Uh, we played like a playoff team. Celtics play like it's a three-point contest. With Giannis, we'll expose their transition defense. That's a great comment. 
That's exactly. And this, and this is what I was gonna get to Montalondo. Yeah. Uh, the Bucks just gotta clean up their three point defense. Get That's closer. It. Run them off the line. And but then when you run them off the though, line, don't over. Don't it's over-help. also the overhelping, the bad rotations. That's yeah, even worse. And that, than the you know what? But the Bucks been doing that a lot in the last four or five games. Just over rotating, leaving people open on the perimeter. Yeah, you know you can't do that against Boston. You just can't do that against Boston and win. So you got to be clean on your switches, right? You know, it's not, you know, over switching or not switching at all, not communicating. Mostly that's on Beasley. I hate to say it, that's a lot of times when they mess up a switch, Beasley's involved. And so <laughs> Beasley need to um, they need to check Beasley and say, man, you got to get yourself together because every time when you look at it, it's most of the time it's Beasley not running out to his man or staying on the man too long. And, and do wide open again. And it's like, stop doing that, man. I mean, they might have won a game if they wouldn't have had Beasley in the game at the end. Or you we know, took out Brooks sooner. No, they took out Beasley. I mean, yeah. You see what I'm they saying? Took out but because Beasley didn't have a good game. Right. He, didn't, he just didn't have a good game. But, he wasn't rebounding. It's like if Beasley's shot's not going, he doesn't play well. True. And, you know, it affects his confidence or something. So, you know. When they took him out, they was on a the run. I think they was down what three or two, mm-hmm. and then they just gave the ball to Jason Tatum, and Beasley was on him, and he cooked him. You know, he played he played soft on defense for some reason. And, and when Middleton was on him, or anybody else on, him, they would like bodied him up a little bit. You know, well, yeah, so but the, I agree with that. But Middleton's a bigger body though, too. Middleton's that's what only your body. space. But that's what only your space means. You know, mm-hmm. get into his space, man. Just make him make him run you over. Make them work, <laughs> you know. Crazy. You know, make them run into you. Don't be afraid of the bump. You, you know, you BC sometimes it. is a shy away from con- contact type of guy. Right. And in the playoffs, that ain't gonna last. But he has to hit shots. But like you said, but guess who they could have kept in the game? They could have kept AJ Green in the game. Because mm-hmm. AJ Green isn't afraid to put a body on somebody. AJ Free Green would at least stay in front of him a little bit. But either yeah, either way, Bucks got great no, no, game. No, no, great Pronte, go back to that. Pronte. Well, no, 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 no. Pronte, go back to that. Let's go back to AJ Green. That was inexcusable for him not to get no minutes. Yeah, he should have been in the game, especially the way they were rebounding. You know, especially the way they was getting offense rebounded. They would compete on the rebounds. They at first they just wouldn't get rebounds. They were getting out hustled by Boston. And they need to start if they really want to beat Bus Boston. Just don't get out hustled by them. You know, because Boston shoot threes. So what happens when you shoot threes? Eventually, you start missing. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just a matter of time before you start missing. And once you go cold shooting threes, you go real cold. Back to Janet. Yeah, that's you it. Real, you go real cold. Right. And so, and anytime in last year, the reason why Boston lost is they took away the three pointers. This year, the reason why Boston is going to lose is you take away the three pointers because they're the same team. They shoot even more threes now. So it's like they're the same team. They're the same team. Hey man, hey, hey, Prate, my man uh, hey, Boy Street was reading your brain. Y'all said the same thing at the same time. That was crazy. He just put this in there. Hoy Street, he appreciate the four ninety nine super chat. Celtics have never been able to sustain three point shooting. Hence, they ain't won nothing. I told yeah. y'all said that. Hey man, this is the most but intelligent Bucks chat that on YouTube. Man, shout out to y'all, bro. Oh, yeah. I wish the Bucks would figure that out. I wish the Bucks would figure that out. Like, yeah, the, they go. The Warriors figure that out. Miami figured that out. Why can't we figure that out? A hey, pass coming in with smoke. Shout out to yeah. that. The Bucks just that. figure out that man. They gonna even if they drive, they want to shoot a three pointer. Right. They want to pass out to a three pointer. That's all they want to do. You know, they don't want to. They they just want to drive and pat, then kick out for a three. That's their offense. That's ninety percent of their offense. So the playoffs. You know, it's like loading up on Giannis. Right. There's some predictability in what they're gonna do. Correct. You know, they don't and if you can if you can get a couple players that can stay in front of them for a little bit, they have they, they get real limited. They get really limited. And all you have to do from there is rebound the basketball. That's why we blew them out by fifty. That's why we fifty bought them. Mm-hmm. Because they wasn't hitting their three point shots and they couldn't stop us. And guess what? This game, even without Giannis, they still couldn't stop the Bucks. The Bucks shot like what, fifty three percent? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know they 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 couldn't really stop the Bucks. The Bucks, and, just... and that's what I'm saying too. So I'm like, okay, so y'all barely won, and Giannis wasn't hooping, right? So what are y'all gonna do if Giannis? So no, so what I'm trying to say is, uh, let me know if I'm wrong, uh, panel, right? They beat us with all their players kicking in, plus they bench kicking in, plus X Factor kicking in, right? 
multiple people in double figures, shooting 50%. Everything went y'all way. Y'all had the officials, the rebounds, mm-hmm. the turnovers, any stat that y'all would want, and y'all barely won. Y'all barely won. So if y'all are even a little off, we're going to we gonna, we gonna blow y'all out the building. I'm telling you right now, Boston had everything go their way, and they barely won. What's going to happen if you only shoot 38% from three, 40% from three? What happened? Then? We blow y'all off the court. And the thing is, now that what y'all done messed up, y'all done let Dame get cooking. That's the last person on the Bucks you want cooking. Because with yeah. him cooking and Giannis cooking, y'all done. I'm yeah. telling you, y'all done. I mean, I mean, I saw a lot of lot when the Bucks won. It wasn't on this chat. It was just mm-hmm. on, like, national media. They're like, is the Bucks better without Dame? And basically Gilbert the Readings. But Gilbert the Readings always hate on the Bucks. Right. But right. – <laughs> He's always hate on the Bucks. And they were like, no, they not. He said, he they may never get off with Giannis. And yes, he has. You <laughs> know, lately the Bucks, when they was playing before Giannis got injured, they was getting 35 and 10 assists apiece. You know, so that they was becoming really dynamic and really mm-hmm. unstoppable, really, to be honest. So the offense, when Giannis comes back, is going to be that much dangerous Thank with Chris you. Middleton on the floor. The defense is going to be that much better with Giannis on the floor. Thank you. And, and rotations and, will be better. And we'll and have playoff a better... Giannis yep. is a monster. Playoff Giannis is a monster. Bruh. He's, a, he's way more of a monster than anybody on that court tonight. So playoff Giannis is a monster. A healthy Giannis with fresh legs in the playoffs, is a monster, and that that should frighten the league because the man is shooting sixty percent from the field, and he had <laughs> health, he averaging thirty one points. Right, a healthy man, with, listen, talk with to with a him. comfortable Dame and a healthy Middleton, and a Brook Lopez on the bench with a with Giannis at the five, Boston will be in trouble. Right, because they one thing we know Giannis is gonna do is come for Boston straight down the paint. And right, you gonna have to commit. You gonna have to come. You gonna have to take a charge. You gonna have to foul him, and he gonna just blow you out the water. And God, guess who's gonna be who? Lays gonna be tired by the end of the fourth. Those players, those threes, mm-hmm. ain't gonna drop like that. That's a fact. Somebody blows gonna land. Somebody blows gonna land. He, Giannis come for the bruising. Oh, damn, so damn. you know, when Giannis oh, hold on healthy. Hold a second, Pronte. Daniel threw a super chat in here. Shout out to Daniel. Yeah. You could have just come back on the live, brother. Hold on a second. Uh, shout out to Daniel. Appreciate the four ninety nine super chat. Uh, uh, free throws. Boston twenty four to twenty nine. Bucks twelve to fourteen. AJ Green should have played more. Boston is just a three point team. Boston, hold on, we sec. You was going on, man. Just tap back in, Dale. Uh, uh, it's a three point. Boston on uh, on is him. They aren't good. I agree. And there was another comment I wanted to get y'all. I'm gonna let all y'all get y'all opinion on this, right? So Green Range was talking to Eliza. He said Chris Cass Middleton has bought himself another season. Mm, yeah, I yeah. Shout out to that. Green yeah, Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna Me have you first, Bronte. Well. Then uh we're gonna have Brandon. <laughs> then I want your thoughts on that pass. Has Chris Middleton right. bought himself another season? Trey Wise high. That's right. <laughs> Trey Wise high. I trade him high. I don't trust him late. I you know. No, it ain't that. Chris, but I saw I like you Chris hesitate, Middleton. though, Pronte. I saw you hesitate. I like you Chris hesitate. Middleton. No, because I like Chris Middleton. Like I like Chris Middleton game. I like the way he play. I like how smart Chris Middleton plays right. on the court. However, do I trust him being healthy next year? I absolutely do not. <laughs> That's our opportunity to get younger and get a nice, talented piece that will stay in Giannis' stay here. And if, you, if Chris Middleton can give you that, he did his job. You need to thank Chris Middleton on the way out, you know, <laughs> because at the end of the day, it wasn't looking like we was going to get nothing for him. You know? <laughs> this is mean, thank you on the way out the door. Why you kick his back in like I'm that? Not Middleton <laughs> hater, but Middleton got some game. He got some game, but he don't have the health. Right. And I said, that's hard. you can package Middleton and Brooke, and you can get a nice young player. Right. And be extending your, your title run for years to come. Okay. You know, and, and the Bucks need to think about that. You know, nice young player hitting into his front will extend the title run for years to come. That's, that's a, a good point. Make. So go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, go ahead, that's Brandon. So point. has Chris Middleton bought himself another season? Hey, you on mute. Oh, hey, what you doing? Man, Brandon, you, you was all fired up and then you went black. Come on, bro. Go ahead, pass. We're going to let him chill for a minute. Go ahead, pass. 
I don't know what's Girl, going on here, with my man. Go this ahead, Pat. Reminds me of when Brandon, when you asked about him about about Pat, and he just and he just turned off his camera. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go okay. ahead, go ahead. My, thing with, my thing with Milton is, it's I'm kind of with 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 uh, Pronte here. Like, I gotta see. This is, I need to know about postseason. If he if he shows up like he did last year, the year before, and then 2021, I think he should stay. But I'm worried about his injuries. Mm-hmm. I understand ankle one, KD just happened to step on his foot. Like, that happens. That's a random thing. The The floor slipping, you can't, that's not something you can expect. Right. However, it's been happening to you a lot more than we want. And you've been out <laughs> for long times, longer than we should expect. Sooner or later, that starts catching up to you. It may not catch up to you this year, it may not catch up to you next year. But sooner or later, it's going to happen. When we don't know. True. If I if I was a GM, I would personally trade him if it has to. But the one thing you lose is the chemistry between True. him and Giannis. Good point. That's the man. biggest thing. It's like, what do you what do you weigh more? Do you weigh the chemistry, or do you want to be younger? That's a great point. Shout out to Pat. Hey, Pat, you're gonna have to figure out your work schedule, bro. You you do you do I that can't, on your... because <laughs> I, I can't. You know why I can't? It's my own business, so I have to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Shout out to you for that, bro. Shout out to you, Pat. All right, Brandon, you good to talk now, Brandon? Are you all good? I don't hear nothing. Is you on mute? Brandon, you on mute? Your your headphones is by Sura. We can't hear you, bro. We can't hear you. Your headphones by Sura, bro. You got some Boston headphones in or something like that, bro. They done tapped in on your headphones. Can you can you hear us now? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, there you go. Man, go ahead, Brandon. We waiting on you, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> what up, Buck Nation? What's up? What up? What up? Um, hey, I'm mad we fought back. That's right. It. But one thing I want to say this to Boston fans, if we, what we come out swinging in the playoff, y'all done, y'all done at dead meat. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that. Because, and the thing that they, the, what Boston got to understand, Brandon, is we are a fourth quarter team. That's what should scare them. Like, we are at our best in the fourth quarter. And Dame goes super saying almost every fourth quarter. So, that's what they need to be concerned about. Go ahead, Brandon. I'm going to tap you in in a, uh, in a minute, uh, Dale. Go ahead, uh, Brandon. Also, um, I'm glad to see Chris Milton healthy, healthy again. Mm-hmm. He thought he was looking like an old man. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm going to smoke me for sure. Okay. But. We can count all those turnovers, yes. Mm-hmm. And we can count back we, yes. We all know damn sure that. There we go. There we go. Okay. I say, like I said, what we thought get cooking in the playoff, it's like out. Night I feel you out. on that, but but you 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 avoiding the real question. I asked you, did you did you want to keep Middleton next year? You ain't answering that. You talking about everything but that. Do you want to keep Middleton, sir? Yeah, you trying to avoid that smoke. You think you slick. Nah, brother. You're going to have to make a decision. <laughs> you have to, you have to, you have to make a decision. Do you want to keep Chris Middleton another year? Or do you want to trade him? I would. I, I would mind keeping Chris Middleton for one more year. But after that, trade him or retire him. Nah, he can go, bro. Let's get this championship this year. He can he can ride off into the sunset. Them knees are shot, what? bro. He already he walking hey. like John Elway and he ain't even 40 yet. He walking like John Elway and he ain't even 40 yet. Nah, bro. Yeah. Let's just try let's try to get yeah, this not... championship, bro. Let's just try to get you, you on that. <laughs> because I mean, look, man, you did you did a good job. Great service. And you all, you your jersey's gonna be hung in a Raptors. Right, you gotta believe me. But you know, 
your time it's your time i mean it's some yeah. people time it's your time you know your needs i mean even when you got walked up the court today you was kind of limping so you know it's like you know it's like come on man we don't you can see it you can literally see the, the, that's what the, the i'm saying and, and y'all, y'all boy y'all boy to tap back in too pronte y'all got i'm a i'm a y'all gotta claim it i ain't claiming it. no strays et said um <laughs> appreciate the 499 super chat no Giannis has quickly become the regular uh version uh, regular season version of uh no Middleton, I see. What? Come on, man. It's that man game. plays Relax, almost man. every game. You coming? Come on, game. no straight. You better than that, bro. You better than that, no straight. You better yeah, than that. As a, Boston, as, a, as a Boston, Boston fan. As a Boston <laughs> right, go fan, ahead, pass. Go ahead, pass. Go ahead, pass. At least no stray will at least talk the talk. There's That's another, fair. Yeah. There's another. There's another Celtics fan in here, TJ. TJ. Right. This man be talking all the time. Never want to come on the show. Don't even donate. Right. Like if you're gonna talk, at least donate, man. Right. Exactly, exactly. He a troll. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. You got get get your troll game up. Come on. Yeah, go ahead, Brandon. Then I'm gonna tap in uh Dale here. Go ahead, Brandon. Okay. What we what y'all want to do with Bill Lopez? I know I want to up go again on him real quick. Book. How the hell you got Pritchard on on you? You second foot. Grab a goddamn rebound for one. You second foot. He, okay, book open. Now I thought, I thought he said, why I thought. Don't want to play book open because he don't move his feet quick enough. All right. I rather have Bobby at the four or Yan at the four or Bobby at the five. Because that way, this is this book in my mad goddamn nerve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, hey, Brandon, salute. Let me bring in. Let me bring in. Not the Brandon. Brandon, yeah. Go ahead, all right, Brandon. <laughs> Let me tap you in, Bleach Report, Bob. All right, you were saying something, Prate. Go ahead, and we going to spin the block. I know Daniel hot, but go ahead, Prate. Then pass, and then no. Daniel. Go no, ahead, I mean, Prate. I forgot. The brick got on my last nerves, kind of <laughs> doing me for a loop. But, it, it, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, Brick Lopez, I, I feel like he's going to have a series where it matters for us. So we going to need him this year. But I don't yeah. know about next year. I don't know about next. He gonna he gonna be a down. He gonna be a force against one of these teams. I think it's probably the, if we play the New York Knicks, he'll be a force against them. I think the Bucks' big, biggest issue is just making it to Boston. It's not actually gonna be playing in Boston. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, that was heavy right there. Boston. That was heavy. Because you I, know the Bucks. I, I, that, I, 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 Boston is not a bad matchup for the Bucks. Right. Mm-hmm. If based on the, the games I've seen this season, Boston is probably the best matchup for the Bucks. You know, the bus can handle Boston. I agree. You know, why but, you think they fans sure. always being here? Because they know we the we we they main ops. And they know they, that they're just talking trash. Well, when you see when well, they, they, well, I think their fans are hoping that we play a, a team puts us out before we get to them. Thank you. How and we asking for hoping. them, they not asking for us in the playoffs. That's what y'all that's what I'm people with y'all Boston fans. We keep saying we want to play y'all in the playoffs. Y'all don't ever say that to us because y'all know the truth deep now. This and damn I, and thing does swung the, 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 the pendulum. Also, as, as a Milwaukee Bucks fan, we're not afraid of Boston. Thank you. If we would have had Chris Middleton, we know we would have beat y'all. That's what y'all don't understand. We would have beat y'all. We know that. The world knows that. They pretend <laughs> like, you know, Chris Middleton was there. We we almost beat y'all with just Giannis on the court, right? With no game, with no Chris Middleton. Think about that, y'all. Like if we had Chris Middleton, we just we just won that series in probably five games. Man, Chris Middleton is the Boston Celtics killer. We we Chris won Middleton been looking how, like T Mac against look, Boston. Look, look what he did to y'all today. He 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 might he might have been nine for eight for nine at one point. <laughs> right, right. He, he killed kill kill Boston. I want to I want to shut this whole thing down and ask one question that's going to make everybody like, oh, you, who gonna stop Giannis? Who gonna stop Giannis? 
That's all. That's who what I said at the beginning of the year. <laughs> who gonna who, stop Giannis? You trade when, away when, your two guys. Well, when Giannis was on the court, Daniel, we they ESPN had to go to the Wizards game. So you know, <laughs> so, the Wizards. How disrespectful is that? The Wizards. That's how bad it got. They had to put the Wizards game on because we was just dogging them. So if they put any game on they could find, they they would have put a middle school basketball game on if they could have. They would have put on they, Roddy they, James. They would have put on Roddy James they if they put on could Roddy James. Like, man, stop. They did. They were so embarrassed about that matchup. They embarrassed right. their whole little narrative. The Bucks embarrassed Boston that day. And Boston has yet to return anything. Anything. Oh, this is a funny yeah. comment. Hold on one second, y'all. I, I, I want to let you get it in past. I see you getting tired. You got a long day, but I want you to get your shine. One second. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. All right. Holy Street E. Uh, appreciate the 499 Super Strat. Uh, no strays comment don't even make sense. On another note, uh, hold on one second. Oh, yeah, these, these comments going so fast. My bad, y'all. Uh, on another note, Porzingis' uh, weak self couldn't even score in the mid post over Pat Connaughton and Beasley. I'm telling y'all, bro, they are tap water masquerading as bottled water. I'm telling y'all right now, Boston is tap water masquerading as a bottled water. They will be exposed in the playoffs. That I assure you. I'm telling you. Go I'm ahead, Pat. Here. What was you about to say? I know. I don't say anything right yet, right now. I was. Okay. Uh, I, I got something about. I got something about um, Porzingis though. Okay, go ahead. What go Boston ahead. gave up? What did they give up for him? For from Wizards, they just gave up uh, Brogdon and Smart, right? Yeah. One of the two. Yeah. yeah hey, Robert. Robert. It, yeah, Robert the, the Robert Williams yes. the third. Yeah. So, so yeah. a guy who never plays, and someone who flops all the time. A fake DQI, right? As I, that's what you gave up. I think the Wizards are might be fleecing y'all. In my opinion, <laughs> Porzingis he has his time, but he he's not a, a legit big man. He's not fizzled. He's more on the Brook Lopez side of the game. He's Brook Lopez, but skinny. Yeah, and no D. Yeah, and he is definitely Brook Lopez skinny. And guess who's gonna kill him in the playoffs? That Mack truck coming through the paint. Giannis. The average, mm-hmm. the average 40 and 20 on Boston in the playoffs. So, you they know, are. that dude is going to murder y'all in the playoffs. That dude averages 40 and 20 in the playoffs <laughs> on Boston. So, they're, you know. They're going to see a guy. And that was who with is. charging. Right. Brandon, the big dude. In, uh, what's, he, what's his name? Oh, Grant. 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 Grant Williams. That was with charging, flopping, smart. Y'all mm-hmm. don't have none of that on the court. Nope. Y'all have, all these finesse players. Y'all have all these finesse players. Wait till that, that Giannis comes through the, the lane in the mm-hmm. playoffs. He might average 50 and 20. Right, and let us get some calls. What a ha- What would happen if the Bucks actually got calls? Well, they don't get calls because you know Giannis is going to apply so much pressure on them. And he's going to go downhill so hard on them that he gonna, they, it's, he gonna, it's going to break them. One thing Giannis does is break you. He breaks, <laughs> That's a fact. fact. You know, you you might you, you just hope he's missing his free throws, and if he's making his free throws, the game is over. The game is over because you're gonna have to follow. You're going to have to follow him to stop him, especially if he has fresh legs. Do they got enough bodies to do that? I don't. Think mm. they got it. Who do they have? The only person they can, I can think of they can put in is Al Horford, and yeah. he's That's what they what, 38. <laughs> you can't like play him for age. seven series <laughs> for seven games. One game, yeah, you can play him. But for seven games straight, you're gonna play him. But in a series, you know, all the yeah. Bucks, the Bucks do have to fix their defense come playoff. This has right. been a little sketchy in the last ten right. games. Like they, they have, if they play better defense, they're the front runners. The it's whole, very yeah, small. Th- it's small whole, things yeah. they need to fix. It's like small things they need to fix, and that's it. They have and, the and main most pieces. of that's being have... fundamentally sound too. A lot yeah, of that's yeah. just fundamentals. It's just fundamentals. You can fix that. Lack of skill, you can't fix. Fundamentals, you can fix. Yeah, I, I agree. They have all the talent in the world. They have a lot of talent on their team and productive talent, not just talent with potential. They have productive talent on their team. All they have to do is play together exactly. and, and, and play with force. And they're going to be, they'll be dynamic. They'll be super dynamic. So, you know, they just have to bring it together. I think hopefully, you know, Giannis comes back like Middleton came back, fresh legs, looking, you know, like he played two years ago. 
and in, in, in physically wise, and, and you know they ready to roll. You know that's what we hoping for because it's it's, it's almost time. March Madness is here, mm-hmm. so you know uh, once that's over, we know what time it is. It's time for the Bucks to do their thing. You know, <laughs> it so- is. hold on one second. The homie Montalando to type back in. Salute Montalando. Appreciate the two dollar super chat. Boston commentators were sweating bricks in the fourth quarter, wasn't they? They was quiet. Man, yeah. they was quiet in the fourth. Facts. Facts. Thank you, no strays, E and T. I get the chat to donate. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. I'll buy you a drink after we uh blow y'all out in the in the playoffs. Salute to you, bro. <laughs> uh, salute hey, to man. you, bro. We can drink some uh some, no uh, some no McCall 12 you years. My, you got my respect. No, you know, you got respect. <laughs> hey, I just want to know with Boston fans, if the Bucks embarrass y'all in the playoffs, are y'all gonna fire your coach? Mm. Are they gonna trade Jalen Brown? Because Y'all not gonna beat the Bucks if they beat you this year. Y'all not gonna They're beat gonna the Bucks. To, this you is gonna gonna have to they, don't to, they don't have they don't have a big time frame. You you already think yeah. Jalen Brown thirty million. Tatum's gonna get a contract soon. And Drew y'all paying for Zing is like thirty million. What we, yeah, like one of these guys gotta go. It's that's Drew's a, that's definitely gone soon. True. Yeah, I that's think a good point. Out the door. They. They, it, it's it, like I said. If you if you don't if they don't win a championship this year, yeah, the, the, this team's done. It's just us. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just us. <laughs> it's, okay, I, 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 I'll, let me let me change a little bit. It's just us and the power of friendship, Miami Heat. Because for some reason, don't matter what seed they at, they just they just yeah. turn something random thing. Hey, yeah. that's another thing. That's another thing I want to say. The only team we really, really, not necessarily fear, know that's gonna give us the most competition. Miami. It's a Miami Heat. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. We don't we don't be like, oh, here come Boston. Uh oh. You know, it's like, damn, we gotta play Miami. He, they, even if we beat them, it's gonna be hard. You just know it, because they just that's just how they play. It ain't yeah, got nothing to do with The whole the whole culture is just hustle. Yeah. That's all yeah. it is. And we know the Bucks are known for not hustling sometimes. So, you know, I mean, but and if the Bucks fix that, I think, you know, if they hustle more of this game, they'd have won it. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Turnovers. it was untimely turnovers. We had cold spells at the wrong time. Hold on one second. The general just tapped in. 78 Sports TV was good. Salute to the general. Appreciate the $20 yep. super chat. Oh, yeah, I know he was going to come in talking spicy. He said, we going to stop a mud hole in Boston in the playoffs, and I'm proud of the squad and the loss. This loss remind me when I got whooped. Hold on one second. Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on one second, bro. <laughs> this remind me when I got whooped by uh Big Hand Larry in the eighth grade. <laughs> and then he... You gotta tell me what happened after that. Bro, 78, just tap in 78. Tap in if you got time, bro. You wild for that, bro. My man, no yeah. straight hey, no strays to spin the block again. Quick stat for the Bucks Nation. Boston is 24 and 0 at home versus Easter Conference. See y'all in the playoffs. Peace out, brother. You will. If y'all make it, we going to be in the Easter Conference Finals. Y'all won't. Y'all don't have an offense that can be sustained in a playoff run. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, it can't happen. We tried it. We used to just bomb threes all the time. And when them threes don't hit, you ain't got nothing else. Nothing we, else. We, we, we were y'all we were y'all six years ago. Exactly. So, exactly. Was, let, me yeah. you, let me tell you how that ends. Uh, accident in the playoffs so you know <laughs> not in the not in the finals don't even worry about it because y'all shoot number threes y'all didn't take away all y'all gritty defensive players and now y'all, y'all y'all relying on fool's gold the regular season is fool's gold everybody every team that won a championship knows that right so y'all haven't won one in a while so y'all don't my my thing is None of, You're who, right, who Elijah. Was, he is more defensive. That's fair. We, we weren't yeah, saying that. We're just saying the style of play. They're more finesse. Like, Brooke only wants to shoot threes. He don't want to play in the post. Same with Porzingis. But, yes, uh, Brooke Lopez yeah. is more defensive-minded. Agreed, Eliza. I think just Brooke – Porzingis is faster. He's yeah, faster. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, faster. yeah he's faster. But that's because he's, he's also younger, too. So, it makes – of course, he's Yeah, he's younger. He's just younger and faster. I mean, they do have similar games. It's obvious that they do. Um – I think Porzingis is a little more athletic, obviously. Yeah, yeah I give him that too. You know, than Brooke. Um, but if Porzingis wouldn't have got injured, he'd have been really good, though. Let's be honest. Dude was really good before he got injured. But, you know, that Giannis you know, dunked on him. What you know about Kona Hito's Mexican restaurant? What you know about that? Salute to you, Tito. Go ahead. 
I didn't know what you know about eating on the paper plates and the Mexican food over there. Yeah, I was you know just having dinner kind of hitos. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was like. <laughs> you, you know, know what he's talking that about, right? You know what it is. I know where, yeah. I know what he's talking about. Right, right. right by I arm or those. Yeah, that is wild. <laughs> right, they wild in the chat, bro. They are wild. I'm proud of yeah, this yeah, team, yeah. though, tonight. They just, they just, I, I don't even think Giannis that injured. Giannis ain't even that injured. He just, they just wrestling for the playoffs. That's it. Yeah, nah, it's, 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 right. it's load management. You know. It's load management. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what really gets me though about that because we're down. We're the, the, look at the standings. We're like down ten games, eleven games. We like fourteen games left. You gotta look at it. We're not gonna catch Boston, right? In the in, in, yeah. like why? Why we gonna? Giannis already like a little nicked up already. You know, I'm going him to get. You called it, Emmer, when you said he needs some EMPs when Milton was playing. And you said that because you knew Giannis wasn't really playing with or not jumping the way he does or dunking the way he should be dunking. And everybody's voice calling out, you know, he did the piss smoke. I'm like, we ain't worried about you guys right now. Yeah. Hey, Jeff Riley. The what Wizards what up, want- Jeff? The Wizards are on them. <laughs> the Wizards are taking them. The Wizards are taking them. Yeah, shout out to Jeff. I didn't see. Russia. Hey, wasn't it like 350? Oh, RJ yeah. back. Shout, appreciate you tapping in, bro. Shout out to the UK. I know what time it is over there now. That's plus seven, bro. Salute to. Hey, man, these, it's people from all over the world tapping in on this chat, bro. So salute to the Bucks Nation world. Hey, we should be like, we Bucks Nation worldwide friends and family now. It's everybody from everywhere. They got Thailand. Somebody tapped in from Australia. Like, this, it, it's just wild what we doing here. And if y'all don't know, we might not be the biggest, but we make an impact. When we go live, you can feel the ground shake because we making an impact. And what we end up saying here end up happening. Damn near verbatim. Damn near well, verbatim. So whoever, uh, whoever, uh, which one of y'all work with the Bucks, keep passing the information. We want y'all to be better, but listen to us. Verbatim. What we tell y'all to do. Y'all do it, we gonna win a championship. I promise y'all that. Hold on, one more super chat that I'm gonna let y'all cook. We got a new person here. Who is this? Uh, Julian Burwell, appreciate you, bro. I think you're a first-timer. Salute. Bobby missed the uh, and one free throw. Brown gets a ticky tack foul, hits two free throws. That was a game. Boston escaped. That's all. I couldn't have said it better myself. They escaped. I don't know how the, the, I don't know how they're gonna do this tomorrow because they barely beat them. <laughs> like you, you can you cannot. I mean, this one gets me so mad. You cannot come and say, "Oh, we we got booming out." Because last time, last time I said last time we pulled at the gym. They had to turn the channel. This game <laughs> right. almost lost to us. I mean, I mean, what Boston wanted, they wanted to blow us out. They wanted us to quit. They wanted everybody to be like, you cannot even beat us. But this game, like, I can see you guys at home like, wait a minute, ooh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, like, you know. he, he writes stuff up like, okay, they doing this, they doing this. Again, I'm telling you, next time I play him, he's gonna just show a little something, something. But playoffs, we are gonna get him. But I, I'm, I'm not worried about man. I'm not worried about. I be talking you know, crazy man. every live because I feel in my heart that it's going It can only go one way. See, this is the problem. As the great Marlo Stansfield said, Boston fans think it's one way, but it's actually the other way. And y'all gonna find out in the playoffs. Y'all don't know who Marlo Stanfield is. Shame on you if you don't know who Marlo Stanfield is. That's it. Hey, look, Boston. We, I mean, twenty four and zero. We've been there. We've been there. I'm telling you, brother. We've been there. We're gonna be there to console you. We're gonna be there to console you when you lose in the playoffs, because we've been having the best road record in the league. Going That's on 20 game right. wins, right? Having these large, big old victories. We've been there and still lost. So when we all get there, y'all get there, y'all play us, and we beat y'all, and you find out that that road record, that home record ain't going to last, you can come on the chat. Right, right. Wait, right. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll console you. We'll make you feel a little better. Yeah, we ain't going to do no number two on you, but we is going to spank you a little bit. We gonna spank you a little bit. I mean, we are. You can ask I mean, us. We, we we know how we we can relate. We've been there, done that. 
<laughs> right, that's the thing. That's what they not understand. They trying to use these stats. Y'all sound like LeBron fan. Right. Y'all trying to use stats to, to change the narrative. When we looking right. at the reality is y'all have won nothing since 2008. Y'all haven't won anything. <laughs> they, won <with> <laughs> they won with our coach. They won with our coach. Right. Y'all ain't won nothing since 08. That's a long time ago. That's like eight girlfriends ago for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Like, what are you talking about? How do y'all fuck your chest out? Y'all like Al Bundy. Y'all want to talk about, y'all Y'all thinking, y'all Y'all remember what happened a long time ago, and that don't matter no more. It don't matter. It was in 2008? Yeah, 2008. Yeah, 2008. Kobe was still playing. Bro, R.I.P. Kobe. T-Mac might have still been in the league in 08. T-Mac might have still been in the league. Man, Jason Kidd might have still been in the league. Like, this is – y'all crazy. Y'all about to get cooked in the playoffs. I'm not even taking these cats seriously, man. Like, that's wild. That's wild. Right. LeBron still had a hairline. That's how Bro, long ago Oh, was. that was dirty. That was nasty work right there. <laughs> that was nasty work right there. Oh, oh. Hey, appreciate that, Mr. Washington. Let's get them likes so we get to 100. We good, y'all. Appreciate it, mean, y'all. y'all. We, 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 I think we're going to be ready. I think yeah. they're doing the right thing. I don't, you know. I just want to get. I just want to get to the real season at this point. Let's just let's let's yeah. jump ball in the let's real season. Let's get to the postseason. Let's get to the postseason. Keep everybody Jeff says, Shout out, us. Uh, uh, Jeff says salute to Prate. Absolutely. Because oh, I, I just feel like I just oh, feel go like, ahead. What up, Jeff? Yeah, I just feel like we uh we just need to get healthy. And, that's it. You know, get more. They get more yeah. practice time in. That's it. Because every time we practice with the whole team healthy. We look a lot better. It ain't even about the game. This for the Bucks. This is about practicing and getting some chemistry. That's it. That's all it really is about for them. They got all the talent. Like, what are we gonna do in this situation? Let's see it in the game. Let's try it out in the game. Let's see what's gonna work. That's all they really trying to do. That's they fine. ain't really worried about y'all. They ain't worried about Boston. I know they probably think Boston's sweet. I bet you they <laughs> win that <laughs> oh, right. we ain't gonna worry about. Let's, <laughs> worry. Let's make sure we got a game plan for Miami because Boston's sweet. We can right, them, that's we a do. fact. I'm gonna good. let you no, get your no. comment in, Daniel. Then you pass, and then I'm gonna uh, get to the comment section and get out of here. Do y'all not right. see this great okay. dialogue from the multiple guests on this panel, y'all? How are you a Bucks fan and you not here? We are we are having an impact. This is real Bucks Nation. Don't you see the enthusiasm? Don't you see the energy? Don't you feel it? Huh? Salute to the chat, man. What? The females in this chat got more sense than 99% of these analysts and media. Real talk. Salute to the queens of the chat. Then y'all see the minds on here. Pass. Appreciate you tapping in, bro. Look at that. He come in just dropping jewels. You already know Pronte. He, 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 he on legend status. You know Bleacher Report boss, Mr. Smith. Branded. Look at all the people to tap in, dropping gems, bro. How could Mr. you watch Smith. Bucks Bucks talk Doctor, anywhere right, else and feel Doctor good Smith. about yourself? Unless it's my man seventy eight. Me and seventy eight be doing work. Shout out to seventy eight. We be doing the Lord's work over there on that channel, talking about these bucks. Go shout out to seventy eight too. That's all. I just had to go off real quick, y'all. Salute. That's all. I just had to say that real quick. Go ahead, Daniel. Then we gonna have pass. All right. Before you know this, I want the last thing for the Boston friends. Think about it. We we had to we beat you so badly. We had to change coaches, and we almost beat you today. That's how, how bad you guys are. We had to change coaches after we destroyed you, and then this game we had no Giannis, and you still think it's going to be a team to be in the finals? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> like, was, like, that's, that's what I keep thinking about. It. We had two coaches, one coach didn't know what he was doing, and we destroyed you. And then now we got a coach that know what Shout he's out, doing. Shout out, man. Still beat you. That facts, facts. Uh, I'm gonna let you spin the block pass. I know you gotta get out of here, bro. But appreciate you tapping in. Go ahead, pass. All right, I got a few, like one thing. Really, okay, go it. ahead, bro. Where are your dogs at, Cat Celtics? Who you got, dogs? Mmm. Who do you have a dog? 2008, you had a dog. You had KG. What What is Tatum, really? Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown's going to be your dog? Al Talk Horford? to a pass. Talk to a pass. Or, or, or is it going to be Payton Pritchard? Who's it going to be? 
yeah, okay, Peyton. <laughs> Peyton. Hey, Pass came in fully loaded with the with the Draco, didn't he? He came in with the Draco. Shout out to Pass. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get the rest of some of these comments and appreciate y'all tapping in. Always a pleasure tapping in with y'all. Pass, you gotta figure it out, bro. I don't know what you're gonna do, but figure it out, fam. If, if it's a late game like this, I'll be on. Okay. Anytime earlier, don't 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 expect me to be on here. Okay. I'll be in the right, chat. Right. I'll always be in the chat. Okay. All right. Salute. All right, Pass. My man Prate, Bleacher Report boss. Appreciate y'all, man. Salute, salute. All right, y'all. Salute. My man Pronte here, past them, came out of nowhere. I like this. Hey, we building, y'all. We building here. Hey, we hey, we building a foundation for something great here, y'all. Salute to the chat. Let me get a couple comments here before we get out of here. I saw a new person. Matt Brown, what up? What up, bro? Appreciate you. Uh, he said, I like our chances against uh, Boston in the seven games. It won't take that long, bro. Don't even worry about it. We get them out of there five to six games. They not built like that. They, they, they charming. They think they tough, but they charming. They charming. I ain't even worried about them cats. Othello, what up? I feel better this year against them than any other team or year. Facts. Great point, Othello. Salute to you, bro. Oh, what up, Nicholas? I seen you in a minute. Salute, salute. Peace and love, Bucks Nation. Shout out to you, Nicholas. Appreciate you tapping back in, bro. Jeff Riley said Bucks and Six over Cavs in the ECF. Okay. Salute to you, Jeff. Let me make let me go up here and get a couple more. Hold on. Hey, Robert Brooks, what's good, bro? Salute to you, fam. I meant to shout you out earlier. And Julian Burwell, appreciate you uh tapping in too, bro. Uh 78 always uh Hey, 78 always show love, man. Salute to 78, man. That man's an absolute legend, bro. Salute to you, 78. Appreciate you tapping in per, uh, via 78. No strays. Appreciate the 499. By the way, Derek White, and appreciate your comment about his hairline since y'all got Chris Middleton on your team. Oh! 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 That was funny, bro. Hey, no strays. You got heart. You should actually be a Bucks fan, bro. Your team soft. You got heart, bro. You can come over here on this side, bro. You can be gang over here, bro. Shout out to no strays. Mr. Washington said Gallo is burnt. Crispy. He's well done. I don't know if y'all remember Ponderosa back in the day. I might be dating myself, but if you ever ordered a steak from Ponderosa, it was always burnt. Always. Just like Gallo. Salute to you, Mr. Washington. Salute, salute. Shout out to Eliza with the 199 Super Chat. Thank you. Facing adversity equals real path to the ring, and we face plenty. That's vi that's a fact. That's what I was saying, Eliza, though. Steel, sharp, and steel. Steel, sharp, and steel. We're going to be ready. But when, man, I'll tell you, we're going to... I'm going to say something that is going to sound wild, but just think about it in theory, everything we've been through. I don't see the Bucks losing throughout this playoff run more than six games. Book it. I don't see it. Robert Brooks was good. Two red uh violin. I definitely agree that they would be game changers. What you talking about? Where was uh two red violin? I didn't see him up in here. Shout out to you. Daddy Fields was good. Two red violin said Ajax or Marjan needs to play over again. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah, that's crazy work. That's nasty work by uh uh by Doc not playing them cats. That's nasty work, y'all. But I'm really proud of this team. We turned up, we did what we needed to do. Shout out to the best Bucks chat on YouTube, hands down. If you are new, are you not entertained? Do you believe? Are you entertained? If you are and you haven't already hit that like button, please, please hit the like button. Salute to y'all. Let me just give a little recap. So I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic, Milwaukee Bucks Trades, Rumors and News, live edition, where we just got done talking about the battle between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics. We didn't have Giannis, and we fought tooth and nail and lost 119-122. Hey, uh, Boston is sweet. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Boston is sweet. They fooled out here. Watch what I tell y'all. Y'all can't be chucking up 53s a game thinking y'all about to win a championship. We're going to be the one to put y'all out the misery. Watch what I tell you. Damn, that Derek White comment was funny. 
Pass, what's good? Appreciate the 499 uh super chat. Pacers, they done. Heat, they done. Celtics, you already know, done. Okay, pass. You know, you, are those the last shots out the Draco? I think them the last couple shots out the Draco. <laughs> Shout out to Pass. It was great having you on the show too, bro. Hey, this was a hey, this is an instant classic live. This was a great live, even in a loss. Uh, shout out to the positivity from Bucks Nation. There's a lot of times it's a little bit more negative, but I see with this loss, y'all see the big picture now that we really are the best team in the NBA. We really are. And I'm telling you, if Dame and Giannis are both cooking, we are unbeatable. Unbeatable. Period. If we can get this type of consistency from Dame, you already know Giannis got hired out of this world, and we can get something from Middleton, Beat who in the series? Beat who? And don't let Bobby have some high IQ basketball games. We might blow a few teams out. I am very confident in this team. To me, we can let Giannis sit as long as he wants to because I think we're good enough to win some games and, and maintain our seating with Giannis resting. And then I want Giannis to come back and go super Saiyan right away. Right away. So again, uh, sometimes a loss can be looked at as a positive and i think this loss there's a lot of positivity to come from this loss because the things that we did wrong are all correctable it wasn't anything about personnel it was just turnovers rebounding these are all things that everything that we did wrong today can be corrected in practice that's why i'm extremely confident in this team i can't wait till the next game which will be tomorrow at home damn i, I think i'm gonna go to that game tomorrow I think I'm going to go to that game tomorrow uh, with the Nets uh, versus the Nets. So salute the Bucks Nation. Appreciate appreciate y'all tapping in. If y'all can get it to 100 likes, it'll be much appreciated. But I just appreciate y'all tapping in and building with friends and family, Bucks Nation. And that's what I always say before I get off the pod. If you tap in this live, we consider you friends and family. We treat everybody with respect and let everybody get their bars off. And that's the way it's going to stay. And that's how we've been building and growing. So uh, salute to everyone. I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Go. We about to, man, we about to smoke some people in the playoffs. They think we playing. Man, I'm telling y'all, Bucks coming for everybody. We about to start slaying kings and dragging your carcass to the crib. We are about to start slaying teams that think they are kings and bring your carcass back to five serve form. Salute to the Bucks. We coming. I told y'all. We coming. Playing with us like we ain't that. We that. We all that. Believe in the Bucks, y'all. Believe in Giannis. Believe in Dame and Middleton. We got this, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Lost a bunch of suckers. <laughs>